and we're gonna move out. Is this? Ah! Where was he? Where literally was he? Hello everyone, welcome back to Escape from Tarkov. Today we've got a fun video. It was very stressful to do the task at hand. We had to extract from each map, and this is actually gonna be broken up into two videos here because it took a quite a long time. Some of them I just had to run straight through. Uh, obviously we couldn't run straight through. We had to at least loot or get kills, but it was a close one. Next episode, we almost actually get taken out at like the last, second to last one, I think it was. It was Lighthouse, just before laps. It, it couldn't have came any more close, not gonna lie. So this one was pretty much a breeze. I did all these by myself. And then next episode, we have a partner come along so that way we can actually get through it a little bit easier, even though they get dunked on in the lighthouse map. But we end up making it out. So it was it was actually crazy. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what we can get into. Oh my God, off the f***ing rip, dude. What? All right. Okay, yep. Let's all kill each other. That's it. Can we just get a lot? Please. I don't, I, I shouldn't be looting. I should be, we have eight maps to do, but I am just so curious about what is inside this bag that I should have just forgot about it in the first place. Um, all right, so this map is fairly easy. The only thing that we kind of have to worry about is Colin Tay. Um, good guy, good guy when he's not killing people. Putting the fear of God into them where they can't operate their weapon for some reason. And this is gonna lead us to underground. There is so many full chest here. I will take you any day. Um, so we just got to worry about him. That is literally where we're going underground. I love it. And yeah, just so we make some money, we'll probably loot stuff that we see on the way that's in like a safe position. Oh no, I know where we're at. This is a glass, the glass room, I think. Oh, what the f is going on? I should check and see if there's any vodka here. I haven't been here in a minute. Is this the glass room or is this the loot room? Nope, this is the glass room. Oh, I hate this place. See, when I first started this, I thought that this area was a good idea. This is not a good idea to be here at all. Oh, he just got headshotted. Ah, oh, that's a big gun back there. Uh, that's an angry Russian. I'm gonna run. Okay. So far, so good. So this is the kind of sketch part about this, is going down to the parking garage. Not gonna lie. But let's make sure we're kept. Why does my game sound so quiet? Someone just kicked a fucking door, too. I'm gonna shut all these just to be safe. There's a lot of loot in here, usually, but... I think it'd be best if we just got out. What is my exfil? Emercom? Nakatani. I'll take Nakatani. That just means we have to get... Where does Nakatani go? Nakatani has a exit that's pretty close to it. So clearly we're on the opposite side of Nakatani. So we've got to go down. Which is going to be to our right. It'd be nice if there was a way to turn up the volume past the 100% mark. That would be nice. Dude, why does it have to be so foggy on this map? Every time. Okay, we're just going to wait a second. You bitch. What do you think this is? Both of you just got slapped. You freaks. That was a life. Oh! Uh. Ah! I don't know where he just shot me from. But that, uh. That hurt. Yeah, you tanky ass bitch. Are you serious? How did I not hear him or see him at all? Like, what is that? I gotta do ammo. Ooh. That put the fear of Jesus in me. Did he hurt me at all? He must have hit armor or something, because it felt like he shot me, but that could have just been my hurt heart. God, maybe I should have brought more ammo than this, dude. Good lord. Uh, I should have changed my vest from the looting vest to an actual vest. That's a little better. Uh, oh, he shot me in the leg. Okay, interesting. So he did actually shoot me. 
We didn't get a bleed though, so that's good. All right, so we're almost there. If we could just get to the door, which is just down to our left, we would look much better than being in this spot. Dude, they just broken with sound down here. What the hell? One down. They're moving in, so I've got to move out. Yeah, this is where Colette has ran up like a punk ass before. So we're not actually going to go up that. I used to go up that, and then we used to have to cross over a pretty treacherous area. I've come to find out you don't have to cross such said area. Come on. Usually some loot here that's like random, yep. I wouldn't say the WD-40 and measuring tape is worth it, but... Unless we're about to have a freaky ass night, I guess. Yeah, we're looking good. Get a little bit of loot in here really quick off this guy. Holy shit. Uh, okay, just an off spray on him. What the hell? 60 kilograms. I have hand drills up the wazoo, so let's just get an Osprey, because I do not have that, actually. I mean, I could easily buy one, but... Okay, fuck you. I saw that... I saw that uh, propane tank there, too. So what I'll choose to do uh, is I kind of go up here. I wonder what that Osprey has. Is it rain? It's raining. Oh my god! Forgot how big it was. Alright, I'm gonna disregard that. Put that in there. I get a... Good god. Oh. What does it have, though? Level 4. That's pretty trash. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't wore one of these in so long just due to the mobility factor. Maybe it's not that bad. What does it look like? Oh, not bad, I guess. Kind of conflicting with the shirt. Oh, I'm really glad I went back for that shit. So with this spot, we'll, we'll go up to these, like, four glass doors right here. And we're going to move out. Is this... Where was he? Where literally was he? There was no one. Was there someone in the corner that I just did not see? Because the gunshot came from our right hand side. Oh my god, why does it. I was going to say, why do I hear so much rain here in the corner? I might as well loot some stuff. I don't know where that guy's at. He still hasn't made any noise. Or anything. He's kind of just been chilling wherever he took a shot at me. Which it was somewhere in that room that I crossed into to get to the door on the outside. Wow, there's so many people around me. I had to take that Osprey off too, because... Did I just kill two of them? Fuck you. I did just kill two right there. I think I might have killed... Fuck all of you! What is going on? What is this? Like, are you serious? They just sent every scav in the area over to this exact location that I was at. Even though homie over there didn't make a fucking noise. Except for a gunshot. Just want to make sure I didn't leave anything in that vest. We're good, though. Uh, there's all these scavs here, and I don't hear anyone else. I might as well check for keys. Damn, 10,000 rubles, though. I don't know why the hell he left the house looking like this, then. Whoa, 20,000 rubles. What the f are these? Why are they walking around with that much money? I think he's coming around the corner. That was two of them. Back swap. Yeah, I want to say that was two. Another one just came in. Damn. Sorry. Sorry. Dude, there's so many. Why? If there is more... Oh my god. I kind of like it though, because I can search all their bodies. <laughs> What is this gun? What a mess. Alright, none of them had anything good really except for like the $30,000, but you know what they say. Okay, full on all mags. We've got 60 rounds left out of mags, so we've got to kind of get there. Alright, we're running. 
And we're going to run to this side of the car. Around these pillars. And we'll hold up right here for a sec. Alright, we'll move up. We're going to use these pillars as some support. Other than that, we're just going to try to do a run for it. Come on. We'll go in here really quick. And we'll use this as cover to get up and around. The other side, closer to our exit. I think I got a little extra room. We can probably get some food that's in here if there's any. Oh yeah, there's some shit in here. Oh, hello. Hello. How much time do we have? 10 minutes. That's a lot of time. I could probably get some loot that's up here then. I have a whole bunch of computers. It's been a minute since I've been here. I can maybe try to find a graphics card. Dude, it's taken so long on each map, I have a feeling, that we're going to have to break it up per map each episode because holy crap. This is going to take forever. I better get some backup too. Some of these maps are going to be trife. I'm going to do energy. God damn it, dude. I fucking said it. Mother, you know, oh, they're going to make it so difficult to get out of here now. I already can see it now. They're going to they're going to send the squad to blow my brains off. Dude. Dude, what? Out of all the buildings, too. I I I knew that coming here would be a definite a high possibility to get it because I haven't seen one in so long and I need one for a task that's so old. Oh god. Watch them give me two. I would shit the uh, bed. I just try to get as much shit as I can. And get real greedy with it. Well, no matter what, I should put that in my ass. Oh, and there's a spot for it, too. Okay. I don't know what's, what the fuck that was. Oh, give me two. Give me two, 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 two. Oh, a bunch of wires, though. What was that? That way if I die, at least I could put it in my Bitcoin farm. Something at least. I don't see anyone out there though, and it looks like it's nighttime now, so that's good. Alright, we get it. I I got the wires. I got it. Check. Wires check. Don't need to worry about that anymore, game. Oh, we just gotta fucking come up with like a whole bunch of water though. Okay, now we got some room for our mags in case we have to swap them. Which I have a feeling we're gonna have to. Uh, but that's it though. If they gave us a graphics card, there ain't gonna be nothing else in this building that's worth it. Uh, we're just gonna have to run. We have four minutes. And I'm highly convinced that this game can hear me. Because the fact that I said something about a graphics card when I never do in this game. Kind of sus. Oh, I can't even jump anymore? Are you cereal? Bob and weave, goddammit. Bob and weave. I'm going to stop right here behind this plant. Not because I wanted to get my breath, because I wanted to check the safe. I am greedy. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, greedy. Oh my god. I have no more places to change my back. That's how greedy I am. Oh god. Got the greed. I don't even think I can jump. Oh, I can't jump. It's more of like a, a wimple. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna stop here behind this. How you doing? Well, I've had a lot to, I wanted to say to you. You kind of smell like ass. Watch me not have Nakatani. My, my heart would drop. Damn. Not bad XP either. How many did we kill? 12? That's not bad. Hey, at least we didn't see the BOSS, right? Yeah. So we made it out and we have a graphics card that is found in Raid, which means we can finally finish farming part four after the long road of Losing it many times when I've got it. Although I would have rather put that out. Oh, that gave me two physical bitcoins. Hey, yo. And attention plus three. Not bad. Four portable tetrises. There's, uh, okay. I was going to say, is there part five to this? Thank God there is not. <laughs> what do you want here? Oh, I love it when I have the stuff already. It makes me feel really good. Oh my God. I have way too many of those for whatever reason. 
two more physical Bitcoins and a fucking Trigicon Reap IR thermal scope, which they suck kind of ass, but I've wanted one. That's kind of nice. What is this? And uh, well, it's a good thing I stocked all the wires today. Am I right? Can you just auto do it? There we go. What do I need? Capa I just need one capacitor. Oh, damn you. Two more physical Bitcoins. Well, call me Harry. God damn, that was that's a nice little haul right there. Jesus Christ. Uh, so let's see. Let's move this backpack out of here. I gotta clean all this stuff up. I think uh, for the first part of this will be just the ground zero because that took us a hot amount of time there, and we scored not only between this right here, which I wasn't even expecting to get. Uh, we scored a lot. So let's just move. So I'm gonna move all this stuff around. Uh, get all this stuff that needs to be dumped, dumped, and we're gonna see where we're at. And so the one that I'm thinking about doing right now is I'm gonna go a little cheeky. We're gonna do factory, and I'm just gonna try to kill at least one person, and then we're gonna exit out just to see if that does work. Obviously, if we don't get a run through, it'll be fine. We also don't want to get killed. Some of these we could do that, like customs, um, shoreline, woods, probably are gonna be ones where we have to go a long distance to get to extract. But theoretically, it should be pretty easy. The other ones, you know, you just get to extract pretty much, try to loot some stuff, kill someone, and you're good to go. All right, super fast spawn in here. Now we're going to try not to get killed. I don't know what spawn this is. I'm pretty sure it's all going to be... Oh my god, this is awful. Is he fucking... Is he stupid? He's just gonna keep his back turned to me the whole time. Can I shoot that out? Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't like... Oh, God. I don't like this spot. Not gonna lie. And I know why they put me here. Stupid. Trying to get me killed. Let's go back here. I'm gonna just shut this. Because uh, I don't know if Tegil is on the map, so we can at least have a barrier between us. To some extent. Like a restraining order, but through a door. Yeah, because if I know where I'm at, I think uh, the tent is to the right. Like Tagilla's tent thing, or that white tent is to the right. And then to the left is the offices. And then straight ahead, I believe, is um, where, like the cultist spawn. Oh, oh it's this. I was like, dude, what is on? Still no one, though. We killed one person. And I haven't really seen anyone after that. I hear one. That sounds really healthy. Oh, he's getting close. He's like on the other side of that tank. He up is not ours. Damn, he just got fucked up. <laughs> he just ate shit into the ground. Oh, poor guy. That's rough. All right, well, he must have had like a a paper towel on as an armor unit or something. So gate zero is a option. And we're here, so gate zero is right here, and then the med tents is just to our right. I would say it'd probably be easier to get to gate zero uh, than the med tent. Just because all this over here is kind of messy. Oh, I just saw someone walk past. I got one running. One down. Another one. Down. I'm gonna draw back for mags. Get your shit together. I don't know if he's down. There's one right outside, probably. I hear him. Oh no. Oh, he said frag out. That was a pretty shitty frag. I'm gonna try to frag. How did I have a jam?
I see blood on that truck. I'm not even that far down on the thing though. Like it's not even that far. That 90, what? Like, come on game, relax. This task isn't that important. He's definitely tagged a few times. Where is that other PMC that was just there? That's a lot of dead people. And I see someone else who's dead right there that I don't remember killing. So unless I accidentally shot him or the grenade got him, which I didn't get another... Oh God. Is that a grenade? There, one on the right. Okay. I'll fall back and do mags really quick. Yeah, I just got one, I think. Oh, there's the other one. Come on, bitch. Make my day. Grenade out. Okay, I think we're good. Just ran like a little bitch. We're just gonna go this way really quick. Okay. And get out from up there. Oh, zero. Let's go. I killed way more people than I needed to. Fucking A, that was scary. I was swarmed by like only PMCs there at the end, which was kind of not legit. And I think I shot one in the back and then his buddy ran. I don't blame him. 3,500 XP. See, told you, hella goddamn PMCs, dude. That is sketchy, but we did it. That's all that matters. One more down. 800 more to go. Next one up is going to be interchange. I feel like this is going to be easy enough. I already have everything queued and ready to go. Just going to make sure everything's good. Yes, we're going in at 419. We're going to have just, just enough time to get to extraction. They always spawn you kind of on the outside. Um, so we'll pretty much navigate to extraction right away, and I'll see if I can pick anyone off and or loot something to get the points before we get out. All right, interchange. Here we are. We are at scav camp. So our extract... I did not look at it when it came up. Come on, come up. There you go. Uh, Emercom checkpoint. So if we are at scav camp, this is going to be... So if we just go down opposite of where we are right now, over here, we'll get there immediately. So that works for me. going to be nice and easy. Only thing we're going to have to do to make sure is we get some loot or a kill just to make sure we don't get a run through status because we need a survived status. Yeah, nothing so far. We are literally on the side of the map, though, so we're taking this as safe as possible due to the fact that we have four completed maps and I'm really not trying to fail it again. Totally forgot that uh, when you failed it, failed one of them, you lose all your statuses. So as we progress, it's just going to become more and more risky more and more stealthy against the walls. Well, we've made it to checkpoint and I still have yet to loot or kill anyone. So I've kind of got to post up and see if anyone spawns because I don't think there's any loot in this area. All right, I have no choice but to go actively seek someone because waiting there is just not going to work. I literally only need one kill or like one solid piece of loot. Oh my God, there's loot in here. Hello. They just had a horrible rainstorm. Oh my God, there's so much loot in here. What the hell? Oh, a voodoo? What? I'm gonna just take it all. Oh, this is decent. I don't know about that shotgun shell, but that rest of the stuff was decent. Good lord. Anything behind here? No? Toxic. That wasn't toxic, thank you. A rainstorm? Toxic. Not even sure why it, that was a thing. Oh, there's some type of loot back there. Might be able to snag it. 19 minutes left. Get out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. See if there's any stuff back here. Okay, no, 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 oh my god, that was so fucking close. Oh my god, come on, Jesus Christ. 
I'm over here battling my own demons and shit. So it said stay in the match for at least seven minutes. Um, and we definitely did that. So I'm going to just take a gamble here. Gamble and practice, please. There's nothing in here. What the shit? Come on. Oh, subtest completed the guide. That's what I'm talking about. That means we uh, passed the interchange one. Now, they all should be theoretically that simple. Some I have to run and gun. Uh, but at least for the most part, they all should be that simple. I wonder how much XP we got. 535, just over the threshold. The next one that we are on is Shoreline. We are here right now. Did I pick the right map? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty easy. Uh, as long as we don't have anyone kind of like rush this village because we're going to escape through cliff descent uh, with this one because I got the paracord and the red rebel so we could easily loot stuff here uh, in several of these homes until we start hearing a, a bunch of footsteps or until I fill up the backpack and uh, we'll be good this isn't a bad spawn the only thing is we should probably get one house over before a whole bunch of people do spawn that way we're not caught up on the house at the end. Okay, so we should be able to loot this house, and then if we need to, we could skedaddle out the gate or whatnot. But it's definitely a possibility when you kind of go into these homes that motherfuckers just spawn for whatever reason. I have a whole bunch of stuff marked as well for crafting stuff, so you're going to see the star. That's what that pretty much indicates. Well, step one here, I'm going to go shut the gate. Uh, these fences are a little big. So they possibly could see through the fence and shoot me. But we're going to go super stealth mode. And get this shut. Does it not shut? It's a one flipping gate that doesn't shut. I love it. I have no idea where that guy's at, but I definitely heard someone. Might as well keep looting. Why? I'm in a box. Come on. Good old croutons. Risking my life for a bag of croutons. Oh, holy shit. Wow. Negative. I could jump on those, but that's probably where the guy's at. Oh, there is a back exit. Perfect. I'll just sneak out there, and then we'll go to this other house, get that, and then we should be good with loot. Honestly, you probably just need a few things of loot. All right, out we go. I'm not going to mess around. There's nothing else here. I got like the last possible thing of loot there. i be really careful because those uh, explosives are not too far off that path. And we should be able to get into this house. Okay, in my face. Hello. Oh, just a battery. Well, we made it into this house nice and sneakfully. I haven't heard that guy stomping around since we last heard him. I don't know if he left or just is standing very still doing nothing. I need a capacitor. This is another alkali. Why Why so much alkali? Come on, give me some capacitors. Oh, two toolboxes. If you don't give me capacitors in one of these toolboxes, I'm going to light the house on fire. Okay, he gave me enough WD-40 to actually light the house on fire, so it's on you. Is that a sledgehammer in there? It is. I like to keep my sledgehammer in the sink, too. Come on, goddammit. You're going to give me a fucking cyclone, but not a... Not a capacitors. You're going to give me a sledgehammer, but not capacitors. I love it. Well, we got the sledgehammer. I don't know why I chose to bring that. Actually, not that bad. I'm only 55 kilograms. And I have two weapons on me. Last thing we got, a jacket. And then I don't think there's any other loot between here and the extract. But that's plenty of, uh... That's plenty of loot. And just enough room to actually swap a mag in case anything gets real. That's what I like to see. I think just like that, we're in a good location. We've already kind of made it through the bad spot. There it is. Give me the fuck out of here. 760 XP. Not a lot. We're not getting any kills. But like I said earlier, now we're kind of getting into treacherous territory when it comes to dying and losing five or six maps that we've completed. Because uh, we'd have to redo all of those. So then at that point, I'd be crawling around the maps.